The stress response cycle is a biological process in our bodies. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end, just like all the biological processes. Unfortunately, there is a disconnect in modern human life between what activates the stress response and what completes the stress response cycle. So the things that actually cause our stress, like traffic and our kids and money and the fate of the world, are not things that we can escape from, like a lion, which is what the stress response is built for. It's to help us run away from the lion. Instead, things you can do to complete the stress response cycle separate from whether or not you solve any of the problems that caused your stress are, number one, run. Any physical activity that makes your body feel as though it has escaped from a lion, it could be actually running, or the elliptical machine, or your Zumba class, or just dancing it out to Beyonce in your kitchen, or just tightening all your muscles for 10 slow counts and then relaxing them. That's gonna allow your body to feel like it's in a safe place again. Or if that's not effective for you, and it's not for everybody, uh, a 20 second hug. Finding someone you love and trust enough to hug for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is an awkwardly long hug if you don't really like the person that you're hugging. So someone that you do like and trust enough to hug for 20 seconds, you support your own weight, either standing over your own center of gravity or sitting, wrap your arms around the person and let your body return to a state of safety with the change of neurochemicals, your heart rate will lower, your blood pressure will decrease, and you'll feel totally different, just 20 seconds. And third, a good night's sleep. Sleep is important for so many reasons, but one of the many, many, many things that can complete the stress response cycle is an actual full night's sleep. It's actually true that if you sleep on it, you'll feel better in the morning.